the mutant son of a human sea captain and a princess of the mythical undersea kingdom of Atlantis, Namor possesses the super strength and aquatic abilities of the Homo Mermanus race, as well as the mutant ability of flight, along with some other superhuman abilities. Through the years, he's been portrayed as an anti-hero, alternately as a good-natured but short-fused superhero, or sometimes even as a hostile invader seeking vengeance for perceived wrongs that misguided surface dwellers committed against his kingdom. He has served directly with the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, the Invaders, the Defenders, the X-Men, and even the Illuminati. Before we explain his powers, don't forget, if you're feeling like being an extra amazing human being, you can like, share, comment, or subscribe. And reserved for only the most incredible of super nerds, you can of course support future videos with caffeinated energy by clicking on the Buy Me A Coffee link in the description below. Alright, now let's talk a little bit about Namor's powers. For durability, Namor rates as superhuman. The tissues of Namor's body are much harder and more resistant to physical injury than those of normal human beings and most other Atlanteans. Namor can withstand tremendous impact forces, high caliber bullets, falls from orbital heights, exposure to extreme temperatures and pressures, blows from powerful superhumans, and powerful energy blasts without sustaining any injury. energy projection, Namor doesn't rate very high. Namor has a plethora of energy-related abilities like absorbing radiation, extended life, telepathic communications with marine life, navigating by sensing electrical currents, and even manipulating weather phenomena in a similar style to Storm. Namor's extended lifespan and his involvement in numerous conflicts both under the sea and in human wars have granted him a great deal of experience in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He is a master swordsman, marksman, and is capable of wielding other weapons such as spears, but rarely does so due to his preference of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Namor has an average intelligence, but through his long life, he's gained a lot of experience as an accomplished tactician and leader. He's a multilinguist with skills in engineering and business as well. Namor can run and move at speeds greater than even the finest human athlete. His speed is greatest, however, while swimming. Whereas most Atlanteans can swim at speeds greater than 60 miles per hour, Namor has shown that he can reach a speed of over 300 knots or 345 miles per hour. Namor has won battles with Luke Cage, She-Hulk, Thing, and Zeta bested the Silver Surfer. He's been seen several times lifting thousands of pounds without effort. Namor once swam against a temporal storm. Furthermore, Namor's physical prowess is so great that he has been referred to as one of the most powerful beings on the planet. And now you've been brought up to speed, but if you're looking to read up more on Namor, I recommend checking out Submariner Revolution, The Saga of the Serpent Crown, and Namor the First Mutant. And that is Namor. Once again, I'm Shell. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.